So in this lesson, we're going to explore the DaVinci Resolve interface. If the interface is a little bit intimidating, you can always close down some of the panels by clicking up at the buttons at the top of the interface. And you should feel right at home if you've ever been in a nonlinear editing environment. You've got a source viewer and a timeline viewer and, of course, the timeline. The buttons at the top left will open up various panels for the different things in Resolve, like the media pool, the, the effects library, the edit index. You can open and close these by clicking or with keyboard shortcuts. Over the top right, we have some other tools that you may use at various points of the process. The audio mixer, the metadata panel, and the inspector. Right now they're empty because we don't really have anything in our project. We're going to go down to the bottom of the interface where the various buttons, which take you to the various pages, as DaVinci Resolve calls them, are literally arranged in workflow order. This is literally the post-production workflow from start to finish. You start in the Media tab using the Media Storage Browser to find and import your footage into the Media Pool, where you can scrub through your footage, Add metadata in the metadata panel before moving up to the source viewer to preview your clips, mark in and out points, add markers, and make subclips before moving on to the edit page. Now you have a full featured editor that rivals any NLE I've ever used. You can view and mark your footage just like any standard nonlinear editing system. Or even if you're a beginner, there's intuitive overlays as well as the standard buttons and shortcuts that existing editors know how to use. It's when you go to the color page that you discover why DaVinci Resolve has such a great reputation as a high-end color grading system. I'll just tweak this a little bit and look at the before and after. That was pretty quick work. And in the Fairlight page, you have a full digital audio workstation. Even the free version comes with the Fairlight engine, which is pretty remarkable. Finally, we find ourselves in the delivery page where you can output to various uh, websites or applications or export your video in a number of different codecs and resolutions for both video and audio. In the file pane, you have options for not only naming your clips, but batch naming your clips, and it's all done in the delivery page. While you might feel more comfortable on the edit page, it's really on the media page that DaVinci Resolve earns its just reputation. And it's on the media page that we're going to start the next lesson.